The virtual cli client streamlines the production process by enabling users to manage and create a complete virtual set without the need for complex design software. It features chroma keying, audio control, video input customization with placeholder textures, and the ability to adjust the position of objects and textures in the scene. The user-friendly interface simplifies the task of performing all production-related tasks with ease. The virtual setup offers two modes, design mode and play or production mode. To switch to design mode, simply use the toggle button. In the design mode, users can perform all the pre-production tasks such as loading and unloading templates, using chroma key, and making simple changes to objects, textures, and camera transformations. In the design mode, users can create real-time camera shots known as camera presets and oscillations. To better understand the design mode, let's work on a virtual set. To load a virtual set, simply go to the template pool, select the desired template, drag it into the edit panel, and drop it there. Once the virtual set is loaded, it will be highlighted in green. As you can see, the scene has been successfully loaded and contains multiple objects. In the design mode, you can manipulate any object or texture in the scene. Let's attempt to move this table. To do so, select it from the object selection box. Then, using the SRT panel, you can modify, modify its position, orientation, and size. Hold down the Ctrl or Alt key to adjust the numeric text box incrementally by 0.01 or 0.10 as needed. You can adjust the UV mapping of the textures in the scene. Manipulate the UVs of the center screen, select the texture from the viewport and use the SRT panel to modify the UV mapping. Now, let's create camera presets. Camera presets are positions stored in the preset control, allowing users to switch, animate, or transition between any saved camera position. To create a camera preset, select the camera from the object selection box, adjust the desired camera angle and field of view. And then double click on the desired preset slot to store it in the list of 24 camera presets. Let's now set up the chroma settings and prepare for production. The chroma keyer tab is in the same area as the template pool. Users can perform pre and post color corrections to achieve the best chroma key quality. In this example, the video input is coming from a local disk, but live camera inputs from SDI or NDI sources can also be used. Press the live button to see the original input, then use the color picker to select the chroma color. You can switch between different views by checking the live matte and composite mode. Adjust the gamma, matte, density, and threshold values to remove the chroma color from the input. Check the result in composite mode. If you observe a green cast on the subject, use the spill correction to remove it. You can make post chroma color adjustments using the post process panel. Once you have the desired result, save the chroma values as a preset for future use. With our camera presets ready and chroma settings done, along with the objects and textures set, let's save the scene and move on to production mode. In production mode, there are two views, preview and program. Preview is for reviewing content or the next item in the rundown, rundown, while the program view displays what's on air. The placeholder section has eight placeholders, and the camera presets created in the design mode can be found in the camera preset section. In the wipe tab, there are 64 Luma wipes available for transitions between camera shots and placeholder inputs. The placeholder dock allows the user to update and change inputs in the virtual video wall and control inputs like a playlist. Create a new input playlist, give it a desired name, and add your production assets such as videos, images, or NDI or live inputs to apply them in full screen or in the virtual video wall in your virtual set. Eight placeholders are similar to eight media playlists. 
Each placeholder in the placeholder section has its own unlimited playlist of assets for your production. Simply click on the placeholder number in the toolbar, double-click the desired item in the playlist, and it will be applied on air. The placeholder slots display live thumbnails of the item, including a video timeline if the selected item is a video. To apply it in the preview window, simply click on the placeholder and press the take button with the desired transition mode. You can also smoothly cut or animate between camera presets. You can also double-click on any preset or placeholder thumbnail to directly apply it on the program output and smartly the software applies the same using the selected transition. Simply press Alt plus the preset number to set it in the preview. You can also adjust the animation time between camera presets by using Shift plus and Shift minus in the numpad buttons or clicking on the arrows with the mouse. To view the complete list of shortcuts, go to the Engine Host option in the Shortcut tab of Preferences.